Hello everyone, welcome to Stats 1. We're going to look at OCR, June 2012, question 7. It's quite a wordy question, so you might want to underline some key information in your exam. So, we've got a six-sided dice. It's biased. The probability of scoring a six is 0.1. The possibilities are 1, 2, 5, as well as a six which you'd expect in a dice, and all these probabilities are the same. Okay, so let's first of all think about that. We've got a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. We know the probability of getting a 6 is 0 0.1, so we have five other outcomes to consider. And don't forget that all probabilities have to add up to 1, so we're going to do 1, take away 0 0.1, and divide that by 5, which gives us 0 0.818 for all the other probabilities. Now if we continue to read the question, we're going to use this dice for a game at a fate. Contestants are going to pay £3 to play the game and roll the dice. If they're lucky enough to get a 6, they get £10. If they score a five, they get five pound. Otherwise, they get no money. Now remember, they've already paid three pound. So if they win a tenner, all they've actually won is seven pound profit. Okay? So what we're going to do now is think about probability distribution. And X is going to be our profit or loss. Now if we read the final part of the question, it's asking us for the organizer's expected profit. So what we should do is think about what the organizer is going to be getting. If we roll or if the contestant rolls a one, then the organizer is going to gain three quid. Same if the contestant rolls a two, a three, or a four. If the contestant rolls a five, the organizer is going to have to pay a fiver and hence lose himself two quid. And if the contestant gets the big money, the ten pound prize, the organizer will lose seven quid. So the probabilities of these. Uh, as we've just talked about, 0 0.18 from 1 to 5, and 0 0.1 for a 6. Now what we want is the expected value. The formula for the expected value is the sum of x times the probability of getting x for each possible outcome. So here we're going to find x times probability of x equals x, and we get 0.54 by doing 3 times 0 0.18, 0 0.54, 0 0.54, 0 0.54. Remember, this is in pounds and pence, minus 0.36 and minus 0.7. So when we add up all of these values, we get that the expected value of x is 1.1, or in pounds and pence, 1 pound 10p. So that means that the organizer's got to be feeling quite happy. Every time someone plays a game, on average, he's going to get 1 pound 10p. Obviously, he could be really unlucky and keep having to pay out 7 quid, but statistically, he expects about one pound ten p each time. Just to finalise the question, we're talking about one hundred rolls. So if we do it a hundred times, it's going to be a hundred times one pound ten p, which gives us a final answer of a hundred and ten pound. What a great game to play at the fate. Good luck and bye bye.